morning, Lincoln Links. Welcome back. My name is Lindsay Wisner. And I'm Bradley Howard, and this is Lincoln Links News, where we will keep you up to date with events that are happening in the school and the community. This week, we had our student council debates. Alan and I debated against each other for president, Trevor and Nikki debated against each other for vice president, and Jenna had a hard fight against herself for secretary. It was quite a battle, so let's watch the debate. And your next question is, what new proposals do you have for our school? What ideas would you implement? So I know with COVID, there isn't a whole lot I can do. I really would love to hear everybody else's ideas a little more and do what they are thinking and really try to get to the school board and talk about what our thoughts as student members are. Um, I would like to try and get our open campus back, but I really can't do much until COVID cases start going down or declining, or there's less in the way of that, but I do plan on trying to get it back. Now, a question for you. What new proposals do you have for our school? What ideas would you implement? So, we've actually talked about this, me and her both, and we pretty much had the same when it comes to that, but I kind of want to talk to the school board more then, well, she hasn't implied that she has. I want to be able to discuss what you guys want, actually, with the school board and your guys' opinions with the school board to help benefit us as a whole, not just the selected people in my friend group. Trevor, if you had all the power to create the best possible school, what would you do? Well, I feel like, uh, since a lot of power doesn't really mean anything in COVID right now. But I feel like if COVID were to be over, more more after school activities for those like who don't really like, enjoy sports and just some for them to find that makes them happy here. And because not all people in the school play sports and I feel like there are there could be other ways for them to get involved more. Thank you. Nikki, if you had all the power to create the best possible school, what would you do? First off, I would bring back pounce again, like the after school programs, because those always benefited the kids. I did pounce when I was younger, and it was always a great way just to find out lots of things to do around Lincoln and have fun with your classmates and whoever else was in pounce with you. Um, I would. If I had all the power, I would give us our open campus back if COVID wasn't around. Um, yeah. As a student council member, attendance is very important. If elected, do you vow to maintain regular school attendance as well as attending monthly school student council meetings? Yes, I barely ever miss school. Okay, thank you. What one word best describes you? Uh, I would say committed. I don't quit anything. All right, and our last question for you this afternoon is, why should we vote for you for student council I know my, my running mate's a really good candidate, but <laughs> just, just take a chance on me. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, everybody. <laughs> Well, those were some heated debates. We apologize for the background noises, Brad and Brody. Oops. Well, let's announce the results from the student vote. Secretary is Jenna Templeton, Vice President is Trevor Tolan, and President is Lindsay Weisner. Congrats to our winning candidates. Way to go, guys. Now we have Brody with the weather. It's perfect turkey hunting weather. Wow. Oh! Get back here, boy! Thanks for the weather report, Brody. Next, we have Nikki and Lindsay with our sports cast. Good morning, Lincoln Links. I'm Nikki Snyder. And I'm Lindsay Wisner. Welcome to sports. Volleyball wrapped up for the year with their district game against Drummond. This year, district tournaments looked a little bit different due to the times. It was a single elimination. Highest seed hosted the event. The Lady Lynx fought hard against the Drummond Trojans, but unfortunately lost. Junior High Boys Basketball is underway. Their first game is scheduled for Saturday, November 7th in Drummond. Good luck, boys. That's, That's it, it for sports. sports.
Thanks for the sports update, guys. Next up, our school carved pumpkins for Halloween. It was so much fun. We want to make it an annual tradition for, in our school. Everybody in the school had did amazing on their pumpkins. Let's see what they did. Stand by Wade. Wade is painting. Come on, Miles. Come over here. Michael, come over here. Yeah, but you can. You're working on it. Oh, your video. Yeah. Oh, do you hear me? Yeah. It's, it's all right. It's all right. There you go. Everyone's working on it, so. Hey, uh, Andrea, what'd you do to the pumpkin? It was my cap. That's our frat. <laughs> Mike Wazowski. Mike Wazowski. Uh, okay. Yeah. Fair enough. So, Elijah, what are you doing to that pumpkin? Right here, it's going to have the, like, it's going to have triangular shirts, and they're going to put um, toothpicks or a pipe cleaner there, so that's going to have a mask on there that says pull, and then when they pull it down, it's going to be the mouth. That's pretty creative. I like it. What'd you guys do that pumpkin? What are you going to do? That's it. I don't know yet, but uh, I'm waiting for the rest of the group to come back. No, we're not. We're going to graffiti it. it. We're graffitiing it with Sharpie. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the back of the marker. That's not suspicious, is it? What are, what are you doing to the pumpkin, Seth? Coloring it. Why? I don't know. Coloring it. <laughs> coloring it. Why are they coloring the pumpkin? They're making it a zombie oh, pumpkin, one? since we had a green pumpkin. You did get candy. <laughs> okay, fair enough, oh, fair enough. Candy? So, we are carving the pumpkin, or we are painting the pumpkin, and I'm using a template, so it would be perfect. The class voted on what the eyes and the mouth will look like, and so I'll be painting with red and black paint. Fair enough. I like it. Thank you. Shut that camera off. Those are some good looking pumpkins. Next, we have JR's movie review. And hello, and welcome to my movie review. This week, I am reviewing Coraline. Coraline is a 2009 Lakea film. Coraline is about an 11-year-old girl who just moved into a new home, and finds everything drab and not very interesting. Until she finds a strange small door that only unlocks with a button key. However, when Coraline opens it, there's only a brick wall. So after dinner, which she skipped, she goes to bed but she is woken up by the sound of mice. Coraline follows these mice back to the small door, but when she opens it, she finds her house, but it's a lot brighter and cheerier. And along with it, her parents are there, except they have button eyes. And they have better food and better everything. But something is off about these button-eyed doppelgangers. Something very off. I love Coraline. It's actually quite a scary film, despite it being a children's. And stop motion, I love. And I very much definitely recommend this film any time of the year. Anyway, that's all for me. See ya. Thanks, JR, for that great movie review. Next up, we have Allie and Damien with Corona Kitchen. And this is Allie. And this is Corona, Corona Kitchen. Kitchen. Please do not forget to wash your hands. Today we're making chicken bacon tortellini. First, boil a pot of water, then cook your tortellini according to the back of the package. This package says two minutes. While we wait for the tortellini water to boil, we're going to cook up our chicken in some olive oil on a skillet. So put some olive oil in, and then wait for it to heat up, and then put your chicken, your cubed chicken, into the pan with some salt and pepper, and cook for four to five minutes until it's crispy and golden brown. After you cook the chicken, wipe out your pan and cook about six pieces of bacon until they're all crispy.
First, add one tablespoon of butter, and melt it. Then add a half a tea tablespoon of minced garlic. and a half of an onion. And saute this until the onions are see-through on medium heat. After the onion and garlic are sauteed, add in a half a cup of cream, and a cup of Parmesan along with a little sprinkle of some dried basil. And then mix it together. Now add your chicken bacon and your tortellini. Now that your chicken tortellini is all done, post up and eat it like some chicken fettuccine. Thank you for watching Corona Kitchen. Thank you guys for the great recipe. Well, that wraps up everything happening in Lincoln Public School this week. Thanks for joining us on Lincoln Links News. I'm Lindsay Weisner. And I'm Bradley Howard, and this is your Lincoln Links News Crew. Toodaloo!